Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. Our vision is to bring Christ's abundant life, knowledge, and hope to Inanda, then to the whole world, in the form of preaching, teaching, holistic gospel, healing, deliverance, counseling, training, and discipleship. Here we go. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, your past will never define your future. There is always redemption, which means there is always a brighter day. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we do not think that we are better than any other church out there. We are just doing our best to become our best. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we want you to believe in God, but also we want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against any people who do not attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that is pursuing us. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are committed to serve God and people. We take ownership and account for our decisions, answerable or accountable as for something within one's power. We do what we say we will do. We are learning to serve God with all our hearts and we are learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you are looking for the perfect church, we are not it. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are part of a global community that is knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we believe that really happened too. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, it's not really our church at all, but it is His and we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and fame and not for ours. So there's the invitation. You are invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries from Dr. Swanem Somi and Tabisilam Somi. It's nice to be here. Amen. So Amen. without wasting any time, Mom, sorry. Oh, to Dorotella, he's ready and he is on fire. The last thing, Pagan, Sipara, Missing, and now. This was by Iposhaya, I was I'm on fire. I can't wait to wait anymore because the Lord is upon me. In the name of Jesus, let's give God the praise. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. The Lord is good. Nazana Bashlexen. Nentla Fugazi Amiza and Labaki Tani Peniza. I said last week we start a journey of faith by accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Okay. Ngitenge sonto elhule sa kaluhambu ngokwa mgela u Jesu Christ unjenge nkosi no msindi siwe tu. So as we proceed, umasikubega, there are things that are supposed to happen kunezi nte kufanele zenzeke. To us as born again believers. Kuiti nanjenga banta bazelwe gabusha. As we journey, jango basi hamba no hamba. We grow. Siakul. As we grow, there are things that we are leaving behind. We stretch ourselves forth because they are very important thing before us. Then what is behind us? Are you getting it? Amen. Are you with me? Okay. 
Let's go to the book of uh, the book of uh, First Corinthians chapter Second Corinthians chapter five. Asiye kwingwa tiyesbi li abase Corinthe u chapter isatlugo se sano. Verse seventeen. I indi ma Yeshu mines kumbisa. Wherefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things have passed away. Behold, they are becoming or become new. Siyafunda la payana guma korinte esbile indi isatlugo se slanu indi mayeshum neskombi sa ihamba ganje. Ganja alo uma umuntu egu krestu uisitalwa esisha ogwa gukala gujulile pega segu vele ogusha. If any man is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. The moment I become in Christ Jesus, I become a new creation. The moment I said I am in Christ Jesus, I become I become a new creation. What does that mean? It means I was an old creation. Now I become a new creation. If I am a new creation, new things must be seen. New things they must be revealed. New things they must be demonstrated. I'm not expecting to see the old things. Because I'm a new creation. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? If any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. A new creation. That means I'm a brand new. I'm a brand new person. This thing of becoming a new creation. It means you are a brand new person. I'm justified by faith. Justified, it means it's just is it's just as if I've never seen. I am justified by faith. Are you getting it? Amen. Oh, if, if a person is in Christ, he oh, is a new creation. New creation. What if I see you, you say you are in Christ, but I don't see a new thing? There's a problem we have with the church. They say they are a new creation. But we see the things of an old creation. When you speak, you speak like an old person. When you act, you act like an old person. But you are in Christ. The Bible says if a new if a, a, a man is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. The old things are passed away. The old things are passed away. But when I look at you, you see the old things. When did they pass away? How? When did they pass away? Because I still see them. But you say you are a new creation. But you say you are born again. You said you are in Christ Jesus. I see, uh, I see curses that are in a family. I see the bondages that are binding the people who are still serving ancestors. You're still becoming angry like your Coco. 
I still see the old things. But you are in Christ Jesus. The Bible says the old has passed. But I see the old things, the heaven passed. What is it? What do you call this? Because you are a new creation. I must see that the language has changed. I must see the edge has changed. But I see the old person. You are still short tempers like you did. You still have grudges like the old person. You still gossip like the old person. Where is a new thing? Where is the brand new creation? Where is the person who is born again? It seems as if you are not born again. You are born again in your mouth. Listen. The old has gone. Let me ask you a question. Is the old gone? Hey, Is the old gone? <laughs> Don't answer me, answer yourself. The old has gone. Do, 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 do we see a new thing? There's a trouble we have as a church. Your friends are not saved even now. Because they don't see a new thing. A new creation. Okay, let me continue. The old has passed away. Behold, they are become new. In other words, I must expect something new. Can you see the old has passed away? You used to beat up people, but now. Even, they must see that even if they annoy you, you won't assault them. Do you understand what I mean? They must see that something new has become. You have become a new person. But you are still the same with me. They can't differentiate the old person and the new person. If you are in Christ Jesus, oh my God, when you are in Christ Jesus, how do you become in Christ Jesus? Because it's very easy to become in Christ Jesus. It's very easy. You don't need to pay something. You don't need to travel to go somewhere in order for you to be a brand new creation. Let's go to the book of John chapter 3. And we will see how to be in to be a new creation. Please don't take lightly what I'm saying right now. It is very important. Some of us have rejected it. They are delayed in their growth. Because they don't understand what really happens when they become born again. Let's read from verse 1. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came unto him by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, and no one can do these signs that thou doest except God be with him. Okay. Lowo ke weza guye psugu wati guye rabi. Sia zuguti ungumfundi si ovela gunkulunkulu ngoguba agako ngenza lesisbonaga liso elzenza yo uma unkulunkulu engena. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except one be born anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. 
Ujesu wa pendula wati guye. Ngikini sile, ngikini sile, ngitiguwe. Uma umontu enga zalwa ngugusha. O uma umuntu engazalwa ngokusha ange ubone umbuso kaNkulunkulu So in other words he says if you are not born again you cannot see the kingdom of God Ngamanyamazi uthi uma ngazalwa kabusha ange kubona umbuso kaNkulunkulu In other words you must see the kingdom of God Ngamanyamazi kumele ubone umbuso In you we must see that you are a new creation Uwe kufanele sibone ukuthi We must see with your fruits that you are born again We must see with your language that you are born again. We must see with your commitment that you are a new person. We must see that you are born again. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Because you must see with your fruit that you are born again. We can see the kingdom of God. Are you getting it? Means. Let's continue. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? What is can I go back to my mother's womb as I'm old like this? And Jesus is answering to him. And he said, verse 6, that which is born of the flesh and that which is born of the spirit is the spirit. But this is what is important. Jesus, verse 5, Jesus answered, and verily, verily I say unto thee, except one be born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. In other words, you see the kingdom of God and you enter into the kingdom of God. You see the kingdom of God and you enter the kingdom of God. Unless you become born again with water and spirit, you get baptized in water, you get baptized in the spirit. Then you enter the kingdom of God. And you get transformed. As people were entered by the spirit of the ancestors. They are, you, are, you are influenced by the spirit of God. So you get filled with the Holy Ghost. As you are filled by demonic spirit. When a person is influenced by Sangoma spirit. You can see. Everything changes. The man. Yeah but the, 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 the gentleman <laughs> wears the women's clothes. I'm a pie. And they plant their hair. It shows that the ancestral spirit are influenced. And they say, um, they say, Togoza. Are you getting it? It's because he has been influenced by the spirit from ancestors. But why when we are entered by the spirit of God but we see, still see the old things? So when we see the old things, we're supposed to see new things. When you're entered by the spirit of God, when you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, we want to see new things. You're speaking in tongues, yes, but you are living like a devil. You speak like an angel, but you live like a devil. What spirit is that? Why we don't see something? Why are you so lazy in growing the fruit of the spirit? For 10 years, you are fighting against anger. You are still wrestling with sin for 10 years. Something that you have to be delivered first year on the first day of 
month or the first week of your born again. Then you are still struggling with where lies the problem? Because if a person is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. He is a new creation. As the moment you become in Christ, you become. You become. What is becoming? To become is to become. Uguba, uguba. I was old, but now I am new. Because I am in Christ. What makes me to be in Christ? Is to be born again. How do I become born again? Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 10. I yeah, want you to understand, you might take it lightly what I'm saying today. But it is very important. Let's start from verse 8. Yes, Okay, let's start from uh, even verse 6. Yeah? But the righteous, righteousness which is of faith, saith thou, say not in thy heart who shall ascend into heaven that is not to bring Christ down. Gepa ugulunga oguvela ngogukolwa kusho uguti ungasho entlizweni yakho uguti ngubani oza wanyukel oza wanyukela ezulwini na ogugunguguti who shall descend into the abyss that is, is to bring Christ up from the dead. Oh Christ. But what saith it? The word is in thy is nigh thee in thy mouth, in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Okay, Gepa Kutinina is we listen to Zenawe, Emlonia Niwako, Nasenti Zweniako, Ogunguti, is we logu callwa Esilishumaela, yo. Because if thou shalt confess with thy mouth Jesus is Lord and shall believe in thy heart, God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Ngoguba, Uma Ufuma Ngomlomo Wako, Uguti Uchesu Uinkosi, Ukolwa Enti Zweniako, Uguti, Unkulunkuluwa Mvusa Wabafileyo, Uyagusindis. In other words, that's how we become born again. You confess with your mouth. You believe with your heart. And it become born again. That's how you are saved. When Jesus told Nicodemus, he said, you must be born again. How do you become born again? By confessing with your mouth. He's starting by saying, he said, we don't need somebody who will go to heaven of which is to bring Jesus down. He said, we don't need somebody who will go down to the abyss that is to raise Jesus from the dead. He said, the word is near thee the word is near thee. It's near you. It's a word of faith. You confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe with your heart and you are born again. It's very easy. You confess with your mouth. Look at Jesus on the cross. There were two thieves that were hanged with him. The one on the left and the one on the right. The one on the left said, if you are the son of God, bring ourselves down. Bring yourself and us down and let us be free. If you are the son of God. He's questioning that he's the son of God. 
is questioning that he is the son of God. And the one on the right, and he rebuked the other one. And you speak like a fool. Don't you know this man didn't commit any sin? You see when, uh, when people said you have committed sin, it's not all of them. They are those who know that you didn't do it. Sometimes you might be hanged on the cross, but there are those who know that you didn't do it. And this one was defending Jesus. And you speak like a fool. We are thieves. We are robbers. We are the rapists. We are the bewitchers. But this one is innocent. This one is innocent. Are you getting it? Say some amen if you get it. Then he said, this one is innocent. And he turned to Jesus. And say, oh, before he turned to Jesus. He said, we have received what we deserve. We are punished because of what we what did. Is the Let me tell you something. There are sinners there who know that they are sinners, but they are good in their heart. They know the truth. But they did that because of their hunger. And he turned to Jesus and said, Jesus, when you come into your kingdom, remember me. When you reach your kingdom, when you are on your throne, remember me. What does this thief say? I know you are God. I know you are the king. I know you come from the kingdom. I know you have come for me. I know you will deliver me. I know you will set me free. He said, when you reach your kingdom, when you are on your throne, just remember me. I want to be remembered. I know that I am a sinner. I know I have to be punished. But remember me. And Jesus was smiling on the cross. And he turned his head. And said, son, today, I shall be with you in paradise. You will be the first soul after spilling my blood that I will enter into heaven with. You will enter my kingdom tonight. 